Well, Mary B. Martin School of the Arts is getting ready to host a one-person play called Independence. It is the true story of Mary Edwards Walker, truly a pioneer in the medical world. Here with more now is Anita DeAngelis. And Anita, always good to have you back on the show. Nice to be here, Amy. You had a busy week last week and already yes. looking ahead <laughs> to the next event. And that's a typical season, isn't it, for it, you guys? It is. It is. Things pile up, and but it's what we do. You know, we just stay busy. So many wonderful yeah. opportunities for the community to really learn about incredible people and places and things. And this right. week, you are next week you are doing this film on an amazing woman. Yes. Yeah, so, so we have a play coming in, a one woman play coming in that's called Independence: The True Story of Dr. Mary Walker. And Mary Walker was um, a doctor in a day when women didn't go to college. Um, she graduated from med school in 1855 and went on to serve during the Civil War, um, receiving some pretty amazing awards in her lifetime. Yeah, so. I was reading, wasn't she was like the first woman to ever receive the Medal of Honor. The first and only. Wow. Yes, yes. So she served, um, she served for the, the northern side, but she served on front lines. Um, initially, when she tried to join the Army, she was denied. Um, but she eventually went on to become the very first surgeon in the U.S. Army, female surgeon in the U.S. Army. And it ended up that she served both the, the northern side and the southern side. If she saw someone injured, she was just there to help. And her story, her perseverance, and what yes. she did for us as a country as a whole is being told in this one-person play. Tell right. me a little bit about this. Right. So, so she, she wasn't... Um, only a doctor, she was also involved in a lot of other activities. Something that she did was she she was an advocate for changing women's clothes. So she wore slacks and pants with a coat over top of them, and she was actually arrested several times for impersonating a man. Now, wow. now you know, wearing a long dress as a surgeon probably is not the best thing to do. Right, right. So it was sensible that she wanted to reform women's clothing. But she also was a suffragette. So she was advocating for the, the women's right to vote, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to bring this performance to ETSU since this year is the year, uh, an anniversary year mm -hmm. for um, women's right to vote. Absolutely. So, yeah, amazing Done. woman. And amazing timing, as we talked about. Let's talk a little bit about the play and sure. sort of how it unfolds. It's told by one actress. By one actress. And so it kind of, it kind of t takes us from her, Mary's early life um, before she went to medical school and then moves through her, her different activities throughout life. Um, at, at one point, there was an attempt to take her Medal of Honor from her, and she refused to give it back and continued to wear it. Um, so I, I think some of the story will, will get us all the way through that point as well. And yeah. how amazing to be able to have that in front of us sort of unfolding so it gives you right. a perspective on not only her career, but how she continued to change the ways of women yes. all the way through her yes. lifetime. It, you know, it, it's... I think sometimes we forget our history mm -hmm. and remembering and, and going back and learning some things about how we got to where we are today. I think that's an important thing. Yeah, she paved yeah. quite a road, didn't she? She did. She did. Well, we'll give everybody the information. This is a ticketed event. It is coming up Thursday, March 12th at 730. It is called Independence, the True Story of Mary Walker, and it is happening at Bud Frank Theater on the ETSU campus. For tickets, you can call that number or check out the website. Thank mm -hmm. you.